What's up guys? Radius here, aka Shay, and today I'll be making a jacket. So, to be more specific, the jacket I'm actually making today is for my LARPing soft kit. Now, what is LARPing? The definition of LARPing is live action roleplay, but to me, <laughs> LARPing is nerds with swords. Foam swords to be more specific, and Roleplay. I've been involved in the LARPing community for about two years and four months now and they've basically become my second family. They have given me this confidence that I never thought I'd have. I'm able to make new friends and speak to new people. It's just overall a great experience. However, this video is not about talking about what LARPing is, but more so what I do for LARPing. I make my own soft kits for LARPing. Hence where this video comes in. The warband that I'm a part of is known as the Kislev Rats and we are very much Russian inspired which means I get to make very fancy and very pretty jackets and I love doing it. It's very hard to come across soft kit online or find jackets that actually work for our warband which is where I found the love of actually making my own. So I am in no means a seamstress nor an expert at this at all. Um, I literally just do this for fun. So my goal when making my jackets is basically to turn myself into old furniture or grandma's curtains. In saying that, the fabric I buy is in fact curtains. <laughs> I got this fabric from the op shop and it was a curtain. There was three of them and I brought them and it still smells like grandma and mothballs. So hopefully with a few washes it will not smell like that because I don't want to smell like mothballs. So in no way, shape or form is this video a step by step on how to actually make a jacket. It's more of a come with me and watch me fail miserably while making mistakes along the way and in the end hoping I have some form of jacket. I've made roughly three or four jackets in the past before. Here's just a few of them. Basically I wish to add to that and continue to make better and funkier looking kit as I move on in LARPing. So with that said, it is now time to move on to actually showing you how I make my jackets. Now the first step to making any item of clothing is the pattern. I get my patterns by simply tracing items of clothing I already own. It's that simple. This jacket, I broke it down into two sections, the bodice section of the jacket and the skirt section of the jacket each section having four pattern pieces. With each pattern piece, I need times two pieces of fabric cut out. Here I've cut out the two lots of fabric I need for each pattern piece, and I'm just working out what needs to go with what. From there, I begin lining up the seams and simply pinning them. I recommend pinning your pieces together before sewing, so that you can try them on or in this instance I recommend pinning your item of clothing together before sewing it so that you can put it onto a dress model to see how it will fit. By doing this I was able to tell that I wanted to add some extra fabric in the skirt section and I was able to work out where the corset sidings are going to run. Now let's move on to the lining. I got my lining by simply pinning my cut pattern pieces onto my lining fabric. I doubled the fabric up so I got times two for each panel, then proceeded to just cut them out. Now this next step is where things started to turn upside down. Usually when making a jacket you will sew all your lining pieces together and all your outer fabric pieces together so that you basically have two complete jackets that you then sew together and turn inside out and you have a finished jacket. But I decided to try something new. I basically ran my pattern piece and lining piece together through the overlocker to basically create individual pieces which I then proceeded to sew together. By doing this I was actually able to create a very structured, almost corset-like feature to the bodice, and I'm not mad at it. However, it doesn't look great from the inside, but also that really doesn't matter for what the use I have for this jacket is. 
At this point, once I had it all sewn together, I just could not resist myself and I had to put it on. I was pretty happy with where it was sitting at this point and it was time to move on to the skirt section of the jacket. Now, it wasn't that easy to join the bodice section of the jacket to the skirt section of the jacket and I had to include some pleats, which overall gives the jacket more shape anyway, so I was happy to do so. After that, it was time to try it on to see if we had a jacket. And we did. I am so happy with how it turned out, uh, and all that was left was to add the final details. The final touches simply included adding the corset detailing on the back of the jacket and the front of the jacket. So to do that, I had to put some eyelets in. With the details added, the jacket was finally finished. But how did I do? Now, overall, I absolutely love how this turned out and it's definitely a jacket for summer as it is sleeveless. And I'm not even sure if I could count it a jacket anymore. But either way, I love it. And with that, the jacket is finished. This video is finished. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you like the jacket. I like the jacket. It's warm, it's comfy, it's easy to move in. I couldn't ask for anything else in a jacket. With that, it brings me to the end of this video. Thank you for all the love and the support on my previous video. And I hope you stick around for more. With that, bye guys.